question from uh, Shannon Rowe. He asks uh, partly a comment as well. His observation is that there's going to be a lot of builders under financial stress over the next period to come. Um, he would like to know if there's any mechanisms for licensees to work with the QBCC you know, prior to there being difficulties to receive a helping hand or to guide them through that period. I know, Michael, you've done some writing about um, Safe Harbour, um, but from the QBCC's perspective, um, what do you anticipate over the next period of time in that respect? I think I'll, I'll kick off and then Nat can talk about the specifics, but I think in terms of... Um, as a general rule, if, an, if a business feels that they're about to um, breach, they're, they're concerned that they may be breaching the MFR, the best thing to do is actually to either contact us um, sort of proactively um, and or go to their accountant as well. Um, now is a good time when you're going to the accountant anyway for tax, um, talk to the accountant about the minimum financial requirements and the rules, the NTA and ratio rules um, and if you're not meeting or concerned that you might not meet, what steps can be put in place? So we, um, we're we happy to talk to um, people who want to ask specific questions. Um, Nat and her team, um, they're very friendly and approachable. So um, <laughs> <laughs> you, um, please, look, please do feel free to contact us. or, or um, So you can just write in through the contact page or you can call the call centre and they'll... Um, what they do is typically they'll take an inquiry and someone will call back in a few business days. Sorry, oh, just, uh, sorry, sorry. just um, one of the things that uh, I always say, there's three rules when it comes to this sort of stuff, is be transparent and honest with the QBCC, be transparent and honest with the QBCC, and be transparent and honest with the QBCC. <laughs> so that's 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 rule number, they're my three three rules that, that, I, that I just totally believe in, not just because of my background. The other thing that I'll just point out is that there's there's some there's a little safety net in place at the moment that the director should be aware of, and I'm not a lawyer, so I'm not going to be uh, outlining this in terms of uh, the legal situation. But the the corporation's law was amended for a six month period, uh, which gives directors uh, protection for debts incurred in their business in the ordinary course in course of their business during this particular six month period. Uh, so that was a tre that was amendments to the Corporations Act by the Federal Commonwealth Government. So I just I think it's a good opportunity for, for directors to right now to be sitting down and, and evaluating and talking to their to their accountants, particularly their accountants right now, uh, in terms of uh, and getting and getting talks underway with the QBCC um, because it's that 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 six month is has got a drop dead expiry or it could be extended, but, but I think it's the twenty fourth of September off the top of my head. So. It's worth it's worth talking. It's worth talking. It's worth talking. I can't repeat it. <laughs> yeah, and particularly for um, the category four to seven licensees. Yeah. So, as I um, touched on in in the talk that I gave at the start, for SC one to category three, um, they were given till the end of this year to comply with MFR. There is another reporting date coming up, and yeah. then that uh, you know. So, if they think they're not meeting and they're concerned. Um, raise those concerns ideally when you see your tax accountant just as your normal visit yeah. to talk about that um, and then if there's still concerns then talk to us about what what they are and we can um, work through those with the person. Yeah. We would always say to anyone that asks uh, running a building business you always always need a good accountant in your back pocket you do need a good lawyer in your back pocket. Hopefully you won't need to use them, but you'll definitely need to use your good accountant. So please don't leave that to you of your own devices.